On a previous tutorial, we described how ScanAquad can be used to generate logic patterns. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the mixed mode. The mixed mode allows you to generate and capture logic signals simultaneously. Needless to say, this can be very useful if you want to stimulate a circuit and record its response. To illustrate this tutorial, we're going to use a ScanAquad SQ200's logic analyzer to communicate with an I2C memory device. Let's start right away by opening Scana Studio and creating a new ScanAquad workspace. Open the Script Signal Builder. This is simply a JavaScript interpreter specially designed for Scana Studio. Start by using an I2C template. You'll notice that some code has been generated. I encourage you to carefully read this code as it contains help and examples. This will get you started quickly because you won't have to develop all underlying layers of I2C communication. Next, you need to modify the last part of the code according to your needs. In our example application, we want to read the device ID of an I2C memory chip. Let's modify the script accordingly. We'll start by sending the hexadecimal address of the device ID field, then issue a read command to read it. This is standard I2C communication. Note how we generated four dummy bytes after the read request. This will be replaced by chip's response later. Now, let's apply and see how this looks like on the waveforms. We can see some clock and data signals, but let's add an I2C decoder and configure it to get a better view over this. Packets are decoded correctly, but without many surprises. They're not acknowledged, since no signals were generated yet. Before we can actually generate the signals, let's correctly configure the ScanAquad device in mixed mode. You may also want to configure device memory. By default, in mixed mode, memory will be equally distributed for capture and generation. You may change this ratio, but note that generator memory cannot exceed capture memory. Next, we need to configure ScanAquad's probes as open drain outputs. This is mandatory for any I2C interface. We need to do that for both channels 1 and 2. We will also enable the pull-up resistors, but depending on your circuit, you may not need to do that. We're all set up. Let's hit the Start button. Scana Studio will generate the I2C signals, then download the captured response. As you can see, all packets are acknowledged. Furthermore, we can open the packet viewer to verify that the device ID matches the one in the datasheet. This short tutorial shows you how mixed mode works and how it can be used to accelerate your prototyping and debugging phases. Thank you for watching.